all right my people this is rong you know what i mean this is rong vip is large vip is carpet you know it's quite a um, long time now since uh, the nigeria uh, protest started people angry i personally uh, made a video of, i'm very excited you know seeing that uh nigeria we've realized that we can no longer continue to stay indoor and let things fix themselves and we've come to understand that things will never fix themselves we've also realized that we are the ones who are directly involved in this brutality and misgovernance and the uh, all the bad things that have been done to the people of nigeria before everyone will say it doesn't concern me it's not my business as long as myself and my family we don't work well it doesn't concern me what other people are going through but now we seeing that it's just a matter of time it will get to you the fact that you survive today doesn't mean tomorrow you will survive nigeria government have inflicted a lot of pain upon the people and we are still carrying on so i'm so happy today that things are changing things are changing people are coming out to say enough is enough and this the street of nigeria today is occupied with honorable men young boys and girls and men and the, the, what really touched my heart is that the celebrities they've come to realize i swear that they have a very huge role to play in making nigeria a place a country where a dead man is the leader is terrible it's terrible and uh, we are do something and we are at fast it's quite a pity that I listened to a man uh, which we address as man of God who said that God said that the, the protests the protest will never achieve a result. He said that God was going to expose some uh, bad element in the governor in the uh, governor system. And he said that those who are protesting they shouldn't waste their time that protest will never yield result now sometimes when i said the uh, these uh, religious leaders are one of the bad elements in the uh, in nigerian system is people just comment and think that i don't know what i'm saying i'm not saying these men are not they don't have the power but all i'm saying when it comes to natural attitude these people their attitude are smelly they are one of the major problems we are facing in Nigeria. How can a man who said he is a man of God come out and say the effort of the people will not yield results? Now, which way, which other way did you prostrate that people should look at or follow in order to make the country better? It doesn't concern you people because you people are already rich. Most of you have a private jet. You have homes abroad. Your families are schooling abroad. So it doesn't concern you whatever happening in the country. As long as you're getting your tight and free, whatever happens is none of your business. You see, I we advise, it is better you stick to your business. Just stick to your business. Don't condemn the effort of the people. This is what this is how it's been done all around the world. When the people are not satisfied with the system of governance in the country, they come out in mass to make the leaders know that they are not satisfied. Something is going wrong, and something like that needs to be changed. Because the leaders, they are there. They have food. They have everything. So it is the promises who feel the effect of bad governors, not the government. Because the government, they are enjoying themselves with the national treasure. It is the, the masses, the ordinary people that feel the effect of bad governors. So, if you are a pastor, you cannot join this protest. Don't condemn it. 
after all when the government said that they were going to introduce a, a bill of uh, uh, for closing their, their nose into the church affair a lot of people came out pastors came out they spoke against the system because that has something to do with the, 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 the church money that has to do with the church affair but now that things have to do with general life system things that could interrupt the, the, the life of the people things that can guarantee the people a failed future it doesn't concern you and yet you say you are of god god cares about everyone and if you are of god genuinely you should also care about the people that god cares about not condemning our effort in uk in us in canada all over the world people protest and these protests had huge result and make government to change their attitude towards the people and now we are saying in nigeria enough is enough something gotta change please don't condemn it face your business face what you face you since you came to Nigeria to do business here, when you come to fighting for the nation, you are not in Nigeria. But when you come to talking about the things of the church, the government trying to stick their nose into the church, now you are from Nigeria. Then you can fight. All of you can come together, band and cast. God said, angel said that that person is going to die. Holy Spirit said that person is going to die. But now when you come to the future of the young ones, the Holy Spirit is not saying anything. I'm not here to judge, but I'm just saying, mind your business. You know yourself. Thank you. My brothers and sisters who have continued doing this without fear, I pray that God will bless you and God will keep you. And for those of us who are far away, you cannot join the protests in Nigeria, but you can do something wherever you are that will make the government know that these people are serious lend your voice if you are on social media lend your voice those who are out to protest in other countries all around the world for nigeria don't give up and secondly we are not just fighting about police brutality and sars and shrad we are also fighting that the government give us a good governance a governance system that uh, that 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 involve everyone that make the life of the people matter that is what we need not a governing system that only favors some few persons while the multitude suffer we don't need that anymore buy to nepotism buy to uh, to to, uh, to to one sideness buy to bad governors it is time that we take what belongs to us the life the country does not belong to Fulanis. It does not belong to some group of persons. It belongs to Nigerians. God bless Nigerians. God bless every one of you. Have a nice day.